Amit Niger's political crisis, citizens of the West African nation are struggling to get by day to day. Many in Niger who fled their homes due to jihadist attacks have ended up in the country's capital, Niamey, where they're trying to find food and work. We fled in security to come here. We're tired. Some days I find food, other days I don't find food. I left my place of residence to come here. But until now, I'm tired. Some days I can't find food. Some days I can work, other days I can't work. Dauda Munkaila, meanwhile, said he supported the military and would prefer that ECOWAS avoid military intervention. I pray for ECOWAS not to come. We lost more than 600 people. I support the military and I curse anyone who doesn't love Niger. Some experts believe the president's imprisonment was a bigger issue than just Niger. We believe that what is currently going on in Niger is actually bigger than the Sahel region. This is putting in question the democratic order in West African countries and in Africa as a whole. If we fight today, it is to prevent this kind of things happening and to ensure a future for our continent. Niger's coup was seen by international committee and ECOWAS as one too many, and in addition to threatening a military invasion, the bloc has imposed severe economic and travel sanctions.